Greetings, fellow cat lovers. In today's video, we will talk about a very interesting topic that I once encountered and didn't know what to do about. How to calm a cat. I had to turn to a veterinarian for advice. And today, I want to share with you these professional tips on how to calm a cat without using medication. First, let me tell you what happened to my cat and why I had to seek advice from a veterinarian. This happened when we first trimmed her fur. Apparently, the lack of fur caused her such discomfort that when we brought her home, she couldn't even sit still for a minute. She kept jumping and leaping, from the couch to the bed to the table to the cupboard. In other words, she was simply pacing around the apartment, hoping to find a comfortable spot. But she couldn't find one because she felt a lot of discomfort due to the lack of fur. So, when this pacing continued for a couple of hours, I realized that I needed to do something to calm her down. I read various advice on how to calm a cat online, but most of them recommended using pills or simply petting the cat. I rejected the use of medication, and while petting her did work, as soon as I left her, she became anxious again, and I couldn't be with her 24 hours a day. So, I had to turn to a veterinarian for consultation. And I have to say, he gave me some absolutely fantastic advice. With these professional tips, I want to share with you now. The first thing he explained to me is that there are actually two ways to calm a cat without using medication. The first is to activate the so-called parasympathetic nervous system. And it's not difficult to do. You just need to get their digestive system working. Therefore, the first thing we can do is try to calm the cat through feeding. If the cat is stressed and not eating well, you can try giving them special treats for cats. The second way to calm a cat works through hormone. Our task is to stimulate the additional production of its own hormones, serotonin and dopamine. And here food can also help us. It turns out that to increase the level of dopamine, you need to consume foods containing the amino acid tyrosine. Turkey is rich in tyrosine. So, I fed my cat plenty of turkey. In my case, it helped. After eating, she noticeably calmed down and it was clear that she was becoming drowsy. In addition to these two pieces of advice, the vet gave me two more that were not related to food. One of them is massage. My cat loves it when her chin is massaged. Massage the area that your cat loves, the belly, neck, back. But if your cat doesn't like being touched, it's better not to use this technique. Move on to the next piece of advice right away. And the next way that the vet advised me, and you won't believe it, is music for cats. The doctor told me that there are even studies that have shown that pleasant, relaxing music increases the level of serotonin in both humans and animals. And serotonin is the hormone responsible for our good mood. So, I searched the internet for special calming music for cats. And you know what? My cat lay down, I petted her a little, and she finally fell asleep. I left the TV on with the music playing for the entire duration of her nap. So, a delicious and satisfying lunch of turkey, a gentle massage, and calming music. All of this helped my cat relax. If you find yourself in a situation where your cat is agitated, try these tips. One of them or all of them in any combination to calm your beloved pet. I hope this video was helpful to you and I would be very happy if you subscribe to my channel. And of course, please give this video a thumbs up. Until our next meeting in new videos. Goodbye.